and today I'm fully vaccinated! Fully, fully, fully vaccinated! It's May 8th, today I'm fully vaccinated. I haven't been to the bookstore since, I don't know, February, January 2020. <laughs> oh, I don't even know if I went during that time because I was moving. It could have been since 2019. I'm going to the bookstore and I'm bringing you with me. Guess who's going to the bookstore? Guess who's going to the bookstore? It's you and me! I'm gonna wear my cutest mask. I'm wearing a new shirt that I just got from ASOS. My new haircut. This is such an exciting time. Why have they never done a remake of the song Shots with the word books? It fits perfectly. If you ain't getting reading, get your non-reading ass home. If you are here to read, then get your non-reader ass home. <laughs> Gotta do that hand sanitizer. The good thing is, now that I've done this bookstore vlog thing once before, granted not during COVID, but I've done it once before. I know where I'm going. I know my strategy. It's gonna be great. If you ain't here to bookstore, take your non-book loving ass home. Oh my gosh, how do I even get there? It's been so long. I was gonna wait to make my grand return to the bookstore till the week my book came out, but today I realized, no fucking way can I wait that long. Now that I'm vaccinated, I wanna go immediately. I've missed so many books, I have to go. I feel like it's Christmas morning and I'm going to look at the presents. In what world did I think I could wait like 23 days to go to the bookstore when I wouldn't be able to go because I'd be too busy during book launch. If you're wondering, I'm talking about Better Together. It's launching in 23 days, probably less now because I don't edit instantaneously. Got a lot of work on my plate right now. I'm very excited. It is Parent Trap inspired. The girls are going through their quarter life crisis period. It's about how having divorced parents affects the way you look at life. It's got a lot of hijinks. It's got a lot of sister stuff. It's got romance stuff. All the information about ordering a signed copy. If you're pre-ordering any copy is on my website, ChristineRichier.com. <laughs> Almost, my heart is like. <sighs> I'm, I'm a little scared that there's gonna be like 500 people in the Barnes and Noble, but we're doing this. There's no going back now. Bookstore, here I come. All right, here we go. Oh my God, there's a lot of people in here. <sighs> I'm already having an identity crisis. What are these books? I don't know any of these books. It's been so long since I've been here that I don't recognize any of these books. Okay, I recognize that one. But what are all these other books? Why do I keep putting my finger in front of the camera? Oh my God, can you get your fingers out of the camera, Christine? What is this? Fortune of Glory? Squeeze Me? The Summer House? What are these? <gasps> this is my this is my section. Okay, the Red, White, and Royal Blue. Beatrice. These are all familiar. Hello, old friends. Meet me in another life. Desmond? I don't know these. I don't know these books. I don't know these books. The Golfer's Carol? <laughs> what is he caroling about? Is it Christmas? Or is it, you think it's like the Golfer's Carol, like the golfer's wife's name is Carol, the, or like a song Carol, you know? Like, what do you think they're talking about? What an intriguing title, what a mystery. Manga, they reorganize and oh my, I'm going the wrong way. Okay, the arrows say this way. Here I am disoriented. The goldfinch, I know you. They got a nice bone season section. The lost apothecary, ooh, I like that. I like that cover. What a pretty cover. Where do you think the apothecary got lost? Lost figuratively or metaphorically? Lost in their work, lost in love, or like, do you think she's lost in a forest? Life is short and then you die. This is a pretty cover. Oh, I get it. It's like a silhouette of a body and there's there's stars in it. We love a figurative and literal cover. As seen on TikTok! These Valley Delight, that's our book of the month for June. Okay, this is As Seen on Booktube, come on. TikTok didn't even exist when We Were Liars exploded. I feel the snub of Booktube on the shelf end. I'm in a bookstore, I'm in a bookstore. Look at me in a bookstore. I found an aisle where no one is. This is my bookstore dance. Okay, here we go, romance. Red, white, and blue is all over the place in this store. Work it, red, white, and royal blue. Wow, Stephen King has a whole bookshelf plus another two shelves. Christina Lauren section. I have all of these already. People we meet on vacation. I want that. I want that one. I need it. First book purchase of the day. Is this, is this supposed to be Dobby? <laughs> you can't have Dobby without a no, what is that? You look tired. Wow, thanks. I've reached the YA section. 
<gasps> Whoa, what is this fangirl? Is this a graphic novel? Ooh, oh my god. If I read graphic novels, I would get this graphic novel. Sky Beyond the Storm, I don't have this yet. I gotta get it. <gasps> Star Sight, I don't have that one. I only have the audiobook. I got Hop It in Real. Oh my god, look at these new covers for the Sander series. How do I not know these existed? <gasps> Oh, that's nice. Oh my gosh, look at Crest. Oh my gosh, these are gorgeous. I'm not gonna buy them today, but like, I'm very tempted to buy them today. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. I love the originals, but these are beautiful. Sky Hunter. Do I have this one? I might have this one. I'm not gonna buy this today. <gasps> A Vassal Bowl and Deadly. Oops, put that back. A Vassal Bowl and Deadly. I have this on audiobook, but I don't have the copy. This series is excellent, and I'm also gonna grab that Kingdom of Back because I don't have it and I need it. I got a lot of books now. They're getting heavy. Oops. Oh, The Hail Mary Project. I started that on audio, and I'm four hours in, and I'm bluffing it. The Cassandra Clare section. Oh, look at this. The Children of Blood and Bone section has become more manageable. Oh my god, look at that Six of Crows cover! I prefer the original, but boy do I love the casting in that show. Yeah, and I'm, I'm gonna need Rule of Wolves. I don't have that yet. You can't feel it, but it feels wonderful. <gasps> Concrete Rose! This is really getting heavy and I'm starting to panic because I'm in a bookstore with people. I'm vaccinated, but I'm still starting to panic because I haven't been around people in a long time. There's a Twilight section. Hi. Can you see me? Hi. Let's just, I'm gonna walk in from this side. Look at me go. <gasps> They've got my book over here! Look, look. Okay, there's Twilight, there's Midnight Sun. I know I haven't finished it yet. There's gonna be a vlog. Don't worry, I promise it will come. Okay, here we go. Lots of books, good books, books, yes, books. Ah! It's a Gamma Better Paperback Edition! Hi! Hi, book! Hi! This is my first time seeing the paperback edition at a bookstore. Look! It's my book! <gasps> there it is again! Ooh! Yeah! I'm just gonna leave that there. <gasps> Kate in waiting! I must get it. Yes. This pile's getting ridiculous. It's really heavy, and I'm getting really sweaty. I should really get out of here. But like, I haven't even looked at the kids section. Okay, I'm looking at the kids books. Here they are. Great, 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 great. We gotta go. This is so heavy, you guys. This is so heavy. I gotta get out of here. I gotta get out of here. <laughs> I'm sweating so much. I know I have the vaccine, but like after being there for however long it was, I'm starting to panic. Like, oh no, around people, and there's so many. I was in there for at least half an hour. I think it's gonna be like this for a bit. Having like a mild anxiety attack in there. Speed Hall, The Rule of Wolves by Lee Bardugo. Second book after King of Scars. It takes place after the Crows novels and after the Shadow and Bone trilogy. It follows Nikolai and Nina and other characters. So I, uh, I read the first one, King of Scars, but I haven't read Rule of Wolves yet. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, it's so gorgeous. Oh my god, 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 oh my god. Okay, this is the speed haul, this is the speed haul. I'm speeding. A Sky Beyond the Storm, the final book in the Ember and the Ashes quadrilogy. Quadrilogy, quadri, quadrilogy series. That's the word. The series is excellent. The audiobooks are outstanding, so I have the audiobook for this. I'm not in a headspace for a high fantasy because my brain is chaos as I lead up to the release of my second novel, Better Together, available for pre-order now. But I can't wait to get to this, and I can't wait to revel in the amazing audiobook narration. Next! We have Starsight, the second book in the Skyward trilogy by Brandon Sanderson. Skyward is excellent, also fantastic audiobooks. I have the audiobook of this. I've already read it, but I need the hard copy, obviously. Who do you think I am? I'm like, I'm a person who needs the hard copy. The Kingdom of Back by Marie Lu. It's about Mozart's sister. I remember Marie telling me about it before it came out, and I was so intrigued. And then it came out, and I never got the book, and I need it. Concrete Rose! This is about the dad from The Hate You Give. I think he he is a teenager in this book. This cover is beautiful. I remember when I saw it, I was like, oh, wow. It's so gorgeous. Look at it. Look at this cover. Look at the back. Look at all like these one word blurbs. Necessary, important, incisive, unforgettable, vital, endearing, impactful, dynamic, compelling, authentic, splendid, powerful. And they're all from these like huge outlets. 
Next, I have People We Meet on Vacation. I've just been hearing the most amazing things about this book from everyone on Twitter who picks it up, so I'm really excited to read it. I love how simple yet genius Emily Henry's titles are. Like, Beach Read? Come on, everyone just, everyone Googles Beach Read, and then Beach Read will come up. And Beach Read's amazing. Everyone loves Beach Read. It's just brilliant marketing and obviously brilliant writing. Just very excited to read Emily Henry's book. And wow, I love the color scheme of this. You would think it would remind you of a carrot, but really it just looks beautiful. Like, it looks gorgeous. I love this spine. I didn't realize I loved carrot colors so much, but when they're not on a carrot, I love them. I'm not a big fan of carrots. This conversation just took a carroty turn that I wasn't expecting and it just feels irrelevant. I'm not a big carrot fan. That's what we've learned here. I got a vowel. So Bold and Deadly, again, I bought the audiobook for this because the audiobooks for this series are excellent. I'm actually a couple hours into this audiobook and of course I wasn't in the mood for fantasy and I was like, okay, I'm gonna table this and come back to it because I love the first two books, A Curse So Dark and Lonely and A Heart so fierce and broken both fantastic and last kate in waiting this is the new becky ever holly book i have no idea what it's about it says break a leg not your heart so probably something with theater. Wow, on the back there's also like a lot of one word praise for Becky Albertalli. Authentic, honest, timeless, radically tender from O Magazine. Insightful from Bustle. Immensely relatable. Moving and emotionally wise. Yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited for this. I'm two Becky Albertalli books behind now. I've yet to read Leah. I was gonna say Leah Uncharted. That's definitely not what it's called. Leah... Leah something. I have it on my shelf. Leah something. I love Becky Albertalli's writing style. I'm so excited for the second book in the duology that she wrote with Adam. What if it's us? Number two. I can't remember the title. I'm really blanking right now. I'm still stressed out from the bookstore. Like I have anxiety. <laughs> but I'm glad I went. You have to rip off the band-aid. It was gonna be anxiety ridden any time I went. This was so thrilling. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed coming with me. Uh, my name is Christine. My book is coming out June 1st, you guys. It's like the parent trap meets, you know, the ages 21 and 19. It's a rom-com drama. It's available for pre-order now. Links are in the description. If you're interested in reading, I'd really appreciate your pre-order. It makes a huge difference in the success of the book. Thank you so much for watching and hanging out with me. You can follow me on Twitter or Instagram at Xtenevay or TikTok. I'm on TikTok now. I'll see you soon. Bye.